Hey guys. Hope you all are fine. Welcome to our channel Civil Engineering Guru. As you all know that we are discussing branches of civil engineering, so today we discuss geo-environmental engineering branch of geotechnical engineering and branch of civil engineering. This branch is basically related to environment. So move toward our topic what is geo-environmental engineering? And its brief scope. Any project that deals with the interrelationship among environment, ground surface and subsurface, soil, rock and groundwater, falls under the purview of geo-environmental engineering. Now move toward next topic scope of geo-environmental engineering. We discuss briefly about scope of geo-environmental engineering. Move towards our topic. The scope is vast and requires the knowledge of different branches of engineering and science put together to solve the multidisciplinary problems. A geo-environmental engineer should work in an open domain of knowledge and should be willing to use any concepts of engineering and science to effectively solve the problem at hand. The most challenging aspect is to identify the unconventional nature of the problem, which may have its bearing on multiple factors. For example, an underground pipe leakage may not be due to the faulty construction of the pipe, but caused due to the highly corrosive soil surrounding it. The reason for high corrosiveness may be attributed to single or multiple man-made factors, which need to be clearly identified for the holistic solution of the problem. The conventional approach of assessing the material strength of the pipe alone will not solve the problem at hand. A lot of emphasis has been laid for achieving a green environment. Despite a lot of effort, it is very difficult to cut off the harmful effects of pollutants disposed off into the geo-environment. The damage has already been done to the subsurface and groundwater resources, which is precious. An effective waste containment system is one of the solutions to this problem. However, such a project has different socio-economic and technical perspectives. The realization of such projects require the contribution of environmentalists, remote sensing experts, decision makers, common public during its planning stage, hydrologists, geotechnical engineers for its execution stage, and several experts for management and monitoring of the project. The totality of the problem can be visualized under the umbrella of geoenvironmental engineering. Therefore, the real challenge for a geoenvironmental engineer is how well he can integrate the multidisciplinary knowledge for achieving an efficient waste containment. As mentioned earlier, in most parts of the world, damage has already been done to the geoenvironment and groundwater reserves due to indiscriminate disposal of industrial and other hazardous wastes. Owing to the excessive demand, it becomes important to remediate and revive the already polluted geoenvironment and groundwater. A geoenvironmental engineer has a great role to play for deciding the scheme of such remediation practice. A lot of concepts from soil physics, soil chemistry, soil biology, multi-phase flow, material science and mathematical modeling need to be taken for planning and execution of an efficient remediation strategy. Therefore, it is essential for the geoenvironmental engineer to think out of the box to an extent that the knowledge can help him visualize the problem better and suggest efficient solution. Else, the solution to such problems becomes a trial and error process or rather, learn from mistakes and rectify. Since such projects are cost-intensive, one cannot afford to take too much of chances. Another important issue is the reuse and recycling of waste materials, which reduces the burden on our environment manifold. A very good example is exploring the possibility of mass utilization of fly ash for geotechnical applications. However, while using waste materials for meaningful applications, there are issues such as short-term and long-term impact, which is a governing factor for deciding its selection as a viable material. Although, short-term behavior can be assessed using planned laboratory evaluations, it often becomes difficult and complex for understanding the long-term behavior. The scope of geoenvironmental engineering is to simplify the process of understanding the behavior and resort to reliable predictions and estimations. This would require a thorough knowledge on material science and chemistry and the reaction it undergoes with time. This is indeed a tough task, but needless to say, such challenges make the subject quite interesting. The frequent occurrence of landslides especially during rainy season has drawn the attention of researchers and practicing engineers. The conventional slope stability analysis is partially helpful in understanding the problem. A wider perspective of the problem would be to include factors such as infiltration and seepage of rainwater through the slope. Such factors are going to add on to the instability of slope. The scope and challenge for the geoenvironmental engineer is to couple the geotechnical, geological and hydrologic concepts to explain rainfall-induced slope failure. Construction of flood protection work such as embankments and levees also comes under the purview of geoenvironmental engineering. Unless a thorough hydraulic study is conducted, any geotechnical measures for flood protection would prove to be futile. This is specifically true for large rivers and for meandering sections. Geoenvironmental engineering is more research-oriented, and new concepts and methodologies are still being developed. 
Therefore, this particular course intends to introduce different avenues and overall scope of geoenvironmental engineering to the reader. The course would highlight the uncertainties and complexities involved and the wide research potential of the subject. Special emphasis has been laid on the basics of soil-water interaction, soil-water contaminant interaction, which are essential for understanding the impact of geoenvironmental contamination, its minimization and remediation. If you find our video really helpful, then just like comment and share our video. If you have any question related to today's topic or any other question regarding civil engineering you can ask in comment box. Subscribe our channel Civil Engineering Guru. Thank you.